lot, baby. Yeah, I'm gonna set you live now. Right on, right on. I'll switch places with you when you start up. We should have no technical malfunctions today because we're back in our studio. Back at it again with the white bands. Or something like that, right? Damn Daniel. Damn Daniel. He's wearing green. Daniel's I wearing like green. Them. I like the shoes, but they're green, they're not white. Ready? You yeah, do. let's do it. I'll stand up and start till Daniel. Holy moly. <laughs> oh, is there a mic? We gotta turn this one up. On that one off. Move on there. So don't worry, don't worry. I got it, dude. Don't worry, I got it. Have we started? No, 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 not yet. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. Yeah. I hear it's very cold in Canada right now. Uh, dude, don't worry Canada. about it. Bro, it's you. Come on, your family. Don't worry about it. Canada. It's Canada. Regina, I think, got snow. Of course, Regina. Toronto. Didn't Hannah tell you? Hannah. Hannah was, Hannah said it was storming in Toronto. Storming Norman. Yeah. Norman storming. Uh, it's like, what, what's it? It's 65 degrees here, sunny. <laughs> there you go. Sucker. There it is, sunny Southern California. Oh, Dave and Dorothy. Speaking of Toronto, they just joined us. I wonder how, oh, I wonder how cold it is up there. Dave and Dorothy. That would be awesome if Dave and Dorothy walked in the room right now. That's funny. I know. That would be very it's cool. It's cold enough to not go. That's what I'm saying. Dirty pervs! As Dan Daniel sets everything up. I, I'm t his hair is getting blonder. It really is. Because he's dyeing it. No, he didn't die once. Really? That was live. live. Playboy Radio is Holly and Michael. Modern Love. Powered by... Dash? Dash Radio, baby. The one, the only DJ Ski and Dash Radio. That's right. Go download the app. If you're checking us out on Facebook Live, it's free. It's free to download. It's free to listen. And it's commercial free, which for me personally is a huge benefit. Because the talk yes. stations like Playboy Radio and others on Dash are commercial free. And, and the, the music. music is commercial free. Yeah. So... To me, it's something I love, I love, I love. I do too. Are you cold? Are you just No, like, I'm just standing up. I'm just you, standing showing like this. Your I'm not showing them. I, I need to get back in the gym, baby. Oh, you keep saying that. I do. You know, and I'm telling you, if it wasn't for testosterone, I don't know if I'd still feel as confident because you probably wouldn't. I haven't been in the gym. It's been a few weeks since I've really, really been in the gym. Mm -hmm. I've had a few here, a few there. Yeah. But have not been in the gym, like, so we're live, huh? So should I just hit a button again when we're done? Like hit that one thing? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Hit that one thing. Just come grab it. Come grab it. Log you off. That, log me off. All right. Yeah. Just make sure you're... That one thing is not me, That's though. Don't hit me. Just make sure your mic's in your Right. Just... Done. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel's giving us instructions because we're still learning here. Yes. I love that they trust me enough to work part of this board, though. Fools. Fools. <laughs> but that is part of it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Thank you, Daniel. We, honey, uh, hopefully will be able to announce the exact terms of the contest yes. for New Year's Eve 2017 in Miami. We are going to give away mm -hmm. with LLDclub.com. We're going to be giving away three nights. I believe I believe it's three nights and four days. I believe so, too. At the Hotel Intercontinental in Miami Beach. Yes. And then the party on the 30th and the party... On the 31st. Yes, which Does runs that sound into right? the first. Which runs into the first, which is also known as? New Year's Eve. New, New Year's, Year's Day. Day. New Year's yeah. Day. One package is valued at over $3,200. One package is valued at over $1,200? $1,300? I think $1,300. Yeah, so all the rules and regulations and blah, blah, blah will be posted at SwingTime69 on Twitter and then Michael Pockets on Facebook. Michael Pockets. You can also check it out at LLVclub.com. Uh, if you go to Twitter, it's just at LLVclub. It's not dot com. dot com. But thank you to Dash Radio. Thank you to LLD Club. Thank you to Holly and Michael. That's us. Um, Thanks to us. Yeah, well, no, seriously, because this is, we're, you know, a lot of people went out of their way to make this happen. Yes, they it's, did. it's not easy unless you go register in the Grand Caymans or something like that. Doing stuff like this is not easy because there's a lot of rules and regulations. That's where I got my doctorate at. In the. <laughs> I'm not even going to comment on that. No. Not even going to comment. But you can also check out LLVclub.com to see what's going on uh, for New Year's Eve. Tons of amazing things. $40 million yacht we're going to be partying on. Speaking of expensive boats. Jeez. Desire Venice Cruise. Yeah. Go to Desire-Experience.com. Yes. That's next year. That's 2017. In September. September, baby. Through October, the beginning of October. It's going to be incredible. Venice, Bologna. Croatia, Lithuania, uh, no, Slovenia. Slovenia. Slovenia, and then back to Venice. Amazing. And then we're going to be at Desire Resorts. I didn't realize how close they were. Well, yeah, because there's only that, that little bit of water yeah, in Yeah, I didn't realize. A little bit of water. 
We couldn't swim it. You probably could if you were a better swimmer. <gasps> I suck at swimming. Hence why I said if you were a better swimmer. I just need one of those nose pluggy things. Nose pluggy. I hate going underwater. I know you do. Yeah. You just I maybe... hate water. There's monsters in there. There's no monsters in there. There's Loch Ness monsters. But we will be at Desire Resorts Riviera Maya Pearl and Desire Resorts Riviera Maya. Doing our show on location January 3rd through the 10th and speaking. Check it out, desire-experience.com. Young Swingers Week, March of 2017. We will be in Jamaica with them and uh, we may be launching. Launching. Launching a new little program. You and I, have, not on radio, I'm talking about in person, uh, hands on, sen sensual experience that <laughs> yes. stimulates the body and then that also, at another part, stimulates the mind. The mind and the body. Is that a good way to put it, maybe? That's perfect. Is that a perfect way to put it, maybe? Yeah. I don't know, baby. Is that a perfect way to put it? <laughs> I don't know. I can't do it. You know, he's dead. Who? Who? Elvis? Elvis. <laughs> you know, maybe he's not. I think Biggie and, and Elvis? Elvis and Tupac are all on an island somewhere. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm watching, you know, people write, Hey, Mike Liston, that's what I say to you. Log off, then. Boring. Who cares if you're bored? Then log don't off, log then. on. Don't log oh, on. my God. Seriously. You're boring, dude. Consensually non-monogamous relationships. Monogamous relationships. Love it all and proud that Playboy Radio lets us talk about all of this. Yes. No censorship. Nope. Nothing. Really sad over the weekend. I want to address this before we get into anything else. I'm getting really tired of gossip and rumor. And somebody we are close to pissed me off uh -oh. by tweeting out an RIP, rest in peace, to our boss, Mr. Hefner, who did not pass over the weekend. No, he didn't. He has not passed away. No. Playboy officially announced to NBC here in LA that it was fine. But this person should have known better that until it was truly confirmed, yeah. don't put it on social media. You're feeding into it. Don't put it on social media. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. It's. I think people just, maybe, I don't know. People just like to jump on the bandwagon. They do. Things. And they like to be, and be I've got the scoop and I'm in there. No. Exactly. We had literally about 15 phone calls and about 50 to 60 messages sent to us. Is it true? Is it true? And we appreciated it and we shared with everyone. Actually, we didn't respond to anyone. And with the phone calls, we said, you know what? Let, let us get off the phone with you right now. And if anything is confirmed, mm -hmm. you know, feel free to call us back, that kind of stuff. Right. Our concern wasn't about being in the know, and that's why you and I said nothing about it. Even when it was proven that he was still with us, thank goodness. Mm -hmm. Very good man. Yes, he's getting older. Yeah. Uh, he's an icon. But you and I don't need to be the one in the know or the one with a scoop. No. I don't need that. Unless there's ice cream. Unless there's ice cream. Yeah. Well. So I'm just asking. I'm not talking about all the other fake news. But let's not kill him off, people. <laughs> right. Who aren't dead. I know. That's all I'm saying. You know what, though? I, you know how everyone, after they pass, you usually be famous. So maybe I should fake my own death and maybe people would appreciate me. Would appreciate you more. Like Van Gogh yeah. or Picasso. Daryl, love you. Thank you, Daryl, a lot. It's very cool. It's do. Bob's birthday today. Bob. Oh, yeah, kinky guy. Kinky guy. Bob Hannifer from Couples Cruise and Naughty New Orleans. Yes, we like to banter a little bit. We like to talk. Those of you who joined us uh, for five and a half years know a lot of what we're talking about. Naughty New Orleans is an incredible event that we attend. Tons of sexy people. Not everyone is playing with everybody. Mm -mm. But you go there to learn a lot about BDSM, Dom Sub, Kink. You go to learn about swingers and polyamory. You go to learn about nudists and, and types of places and different sensualities and sexualities. And that's what we like. I go for the wieners. You go for the wieners, baby. <laughs> you go for the wieners, baby. Uh -huh. Yeah. Good times. <laughs> a lot of people are saying, you know what we want, RIP? 2016. Just get this year over with. Seriously, it's Todd, dragging on. Lifestyle Rings, Todd, just said RIP 2016. Yeah. And I, I wonder, is it... I it wonder was, if it it's... It's kind of a weird year. Or is I, it any time this time of year, you're ready for the year to end, the new one to start? No, especially, yeah, I don't want it. Uh, right. I don't... Because my birthday's shortly after, and I hate getting married, <laughs> so I'm not looking forward to it. I, but he makes a point. He taught from Swinger, I think it's uh, lifestylerings.com, or you can type it up. Makes a point, RIP 2016. A lot of people are saying we lost a lot of good people. You don't ever want to lose anyone, but lost a lot of no. good people this year. A lot of interesting things have happened in the world, not just yeah. our country, but in the world this year. And, you know, it. it, it it's done. It can. Michelle is saying it was poop on toast, but I don't know if poop tastes like it. I don't want it on my toast. Poop on toast. Yeah. I, wow. I, 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 I feel by this time of the year, though, I am ready for the year to be done. I want to get to the next year. Me too. Because I do want to see what it brings. Um, I, do I, do, I do too. I think next year is going to be better than this year. Not that this year was bad. It's just going to be better. All right. I'm going to 
Got two questions here, one from Javier and one from Rex. Let's take uh, Rex's first. How does a single dude get a swinger girlfriend? You know what? You don't get a swinger girlfriend. You meet somebody. It's a special lasso rope. Yeah. Oh, like Wonder Woman. Yes. It's like, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. you would be surprised. Rex, I'm going to suggest that you might be surprised, but I'm not calling you out here. Oh. And a lot of people on Facebook Live or listening on Dash Radio, you can chime in by calling or by, by sharing at SwingTime69 on Twitter, and we'll retweet it. Michael Pockets on Facebook, and we'll uh, share it, that women have the same desires as men. It's just, A, society a lot of time has closed them off and made them fearful. Yeah. Like you growing up Mormon. Yeah. And your first very restrictive marriage. Yes. Right? Oh, my God, yes. One thing, and, and we've said this before, we're not fans of Fifty Shades of Grey, but what we do like about it is it got people talking, and it gave women, men too, but women the confidence. Yeah. To what? To, to, to do things out of their norm. <clears throat> to do things out of, like... To express things. Ex and, and, and explore more. Right. I know several vanilla and lifestyle people that read the book and they're like, oh my God, this is the best book ever. Right. I, I mean, it just got them to explore more. You it's said it. Good. Michelle's called in and said it. So many people said it to them. That book was like a Thursday night. It is. It's pre-party, but it's not the party. the average, like, stay-at-home sure, mom sure. or things like that that want spice in their life. Right. That twilight was mine. So one of the ways I'd say if you want to meet a woman that might be willing to enter the swinger lifestyle with you is check out the swinger websites. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of swinger websites. There are a lot of adult dating websites. Tinder and Bumble are free. Yeah. Adult Friend Finder. Mm -hmm. uh, Cassidy. Swingy. They cost money. You can use them for free. And there's paid features. There's a lot of others too. They're regional. I, w I would look into those. And then I would also... You know, we just talked on Twitter about um, a speed dating event with Zusk, I think is the name, and some wine company. We tweeted yeah, out for LA. singles in LA, and there'll be others around the country, and we'll yeah. tweet that out. But it's not a lifestyle swinger per se event. Mm -hmm. Remember though, anyone you meet when you're willing to be open and honest, yeah, can turn lifestyle. Yep. So to, have you ever been to a speed dating? I've never done it. Have you? I've never either. I've done it. Well, yes, we've done it at swingers. Yeah. However, I would be worried because I would. I mean, you really have to put your best foot forward. And I'm not good with talking. You have a gorgeous face and two large breasts. I'm not good And at a talking. tight backside. You, no, honey, I have to put my best foot forward. <laughs> I have a big nose. I mean, I'm built okay, but this nose, thank God, fits my face. No, I have to. You as women, yeah. I, I'm not trying to be jerk, but I'm sorry. Just always clean right, it. You're right. done. Yeah, you're done. That's true. I'm not saying every guy's like that, but if a guy's like me, he's done. No, but you're good looking. Well, I, I don't know about that. I'm just saying that a speed dating event, when you and I have done it at lifestyle events, is fun because it's you're not with your partner, you're meeting other people, and you're going to see if there's like an like like it's some just, yeah. is there any chemistry to possibly right. pursue something further. That's all. Yeah, that's all. I would like it to be more uh, bisexual too. Well, it can be. You're, you're allowed to talk to the women. I just don't want to talk to dudes because I'm not bi. If the guys bi. Yeah, but I think that they should do that for women. I think they should have a bi night too. Wild women. Actually, Young Swingers Week in March and yeah. Wild Women with Playful Pussycats in April do do that. <laughs> I said do do. do. And Wild Women Vacations does a lot, I believe, of um, yes, by they do. trips. So I get you there. So again, to find a girlfriend or get a swinger girlfriend, it's more, I don't, I don't want to say you created in the laboratory, <sighs> but through open, honest communication with somebody you meet. with me with science. Yeah, exactly. And being in the lifestyle doesn't guarantee you're going to have sex with others. Best thing you can hope for is you have sex with your partner, meaning you and your partner have a good relationship. From there, decide together what your rules are. I wasn't in the lifestyle. True. Javier asked, what's the hardest part of being a swinger? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hardest part of being a swinger? Jeez, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I would say the judgment of... The judgment. Uh, yeah. yeah, you and I get, you know, we've been sued for full custody of our kids. We're out, though. So the hardest part of being a swinger when you're out is also different than the hardest part of being yes. a swinger when you're not out. When you're not out, I would feel that one of the most difficult things are understanding that if someone says no to you mm -hmm. and your partner, they're not rejecting you on, a, on an emotional relationship level. Right. So I don't want to be rude, but don't get butthurt. Right. Seriously. <laughs> It's a good way to put it. it there's and you other know people. known and just walk away. Don't be like, oh my god, I can't believe it's been known to me. Right. There, there's other people. Yeah, there is. There's plenty of fish in this. Yeah, and I do believe Fifty Shades gives a bad name to BDSM, only be, or bad impression because it's not exactly being a true dom 
as we've said many times, is not about overpowering or controlling someone. Right, because truly the sub has all the control. She yes. can say, he or she can say no and end the session or the relationship. Yes, being a dom is understanding, but it's about pleasuring your sub through what's pleasuring you too, which is mm -hmm. controlling the situation within the rules and boundaries. Yes, but going back to the, the tough parts about being a swinger, when you're not out, it's the fear of being rejected. No, the fear of being revealed, and, and might you lose your job? Revealed, yeah, might your family disown you? Might your friends stop talking to you? Yeah. The other tough part about being a swinger when you're not out is, yeah, being rejected, but I, I call it more like you said. Rejected. Rejected, not, oh my God, that could have been my life partner. Right. You're not gonna... What do you think the hardest part is? I, I don't know. I don't have a hard part. Right. I, I haven't found any really negative. I mean, there's some crappy people that I've met, but it's very rare. But th there's no really hard part of it. Right. Michelle makes a good point, as always. When people treat the lifestyle, men or women, if mm -hmm. you're bi, as you're going to get a fr bunch of free puss. Oh, no. Not at all. Oh, heck no. Now, we can tell you, men and women, mm -hmm. where you can look. Vegas? There, well, no, yeah. There are places that have parties like that where they yeah. interview you ahead of time, and you go there with the understanding, this is what's happening. Yeah. But most lifestyle events, nothing's guaranteed. To go with the expectation that you and your partner are going to have fun together. And if anything else happens, mm -hmm. awesome. If it doesn't, awesome because you're still with the greatest person in the world. Yes. Your partner. That's me. That's that's what I look like. And the lifestyle, the hardest part of the lifestyle might be the lifestyle itself. Understanding the open communication. Being willing to share yeah. if something is tempting you. Mm -hmm. Not everyone can be as honest. Right. As Not as they should be, especially in this lifestyle. Right. Negotiating versus compromising can yeah. be very tough. What do I mean by that? No matter what type of lifestyle, swinger or not, any type of consensual, non-monogamous relationship, I don't like the word concessions as much as I like negotiation. Yeah. I don't like the word compromise as much as I like the word negotiation. Yeah. Because when you negotiate, both parties have win. skin in the game, and it's a win-win. Mm -hmm. Compromise can be a win-lose. Yeah. Someone's giving up something. Something. Because they want you to have something, right? but then do they want something back later? And then it's going to come back. Right. So it's just going to be, uh, I did this for you, you did right. this for me. And navigating the waters. Jealousy. Yes. Jealousy is definitely an issue. It's an issue that we've been talking about. We've been on air. Playboy Radio's Holly and Michael have been on air for over five and a half years now. Mm -hmm. We could spend every episode, because we're on five days a week, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern, discussing jealousy. Yeah. And still, people have other questions or experience things. Yes and the difference between jealousy and insecurity. So sometimes the toughest part of lifestyle is navigating through that. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I think that, that would, I would say that's the hardest. I mean, trying to get to the, the place that you want to be. Right. And, and it doesn't have to be hard, but sometimes it is. It, it can be tough. It can be tough. It can be tough. It's the negotiating. And then if you are in the lifestyle and you're out, the same problems per, you know, can happen, but as we shared with you, there are mm -hmm. other societal issues. You know, even people in the lifestyle, unfortunately, will bash people in the lifestyle to people that don't know that they're in the lifestyle. Right. If people don't know they're in the lifestyle because they're afraid of being found out or they're afraid of being caught, per se, mm -hmm. it happens. It's it's just one of those things. And you want to enter this world, this community, we welcome everybody. Mm -hmm. We welcome people that just want to be around cool people. Yeah. You know, not all nudists are swingers. Not all swingers are nudists. Nope. So don't, don't go in thinking that. You know, there's exhibitionists, there's lawyers, there's soft swap, there's full swap. And then there's that fifth category you and I added. People that just want to be around open-minded, sex-positive, cool people. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's it. They may never do anything else. Just want to party with them. Yeah. It makes some great friends. Yeah. So. Great places. Absolutely. And there's a lot. Go to hollyandmichael.com. H-O-L-L-I. Hollyandmichael.com. We have a lot of uh, articles up there. We share research up there. You know, one of the big things we get asked, what about STDs and STIs? Okay, what about them? No, in the lifestyle community of swingers, isn't it more rampant? Actually, the frequency of sexually transmitted infections or sexually transmitted diseases are lower mm -hmm. in our community, mm -hmm. in the alternative lifestyle, sexual lifestyle community, than in monogamous right. relationships. Because people are cheating and they think, oh, I'm doing this, why would I? If I'm going to take one risk. Why? Why not take another risk? Why not take another risk? Yeah. And that's unfortunately what happens. We do mm -hmm. believe in safe sex. Our advice, gentlemen... Ladies, carry latex-free condoms. <laughs> yes, please do. Yeah. Uh, Sabrina's so asking, would you want to consider a couple that only plays with women swingers? Uh, 
Uh, would we consider a couple we, that only if, it, if it's a couple that only plays with women, yeah. I'm going to go, hell yes! Yeah, but yeah, what yeah. What do you say? Yeah, totally. And, and again, you know, if you want to think of another name, sure, we can add another label to it. Mm -hmm. But I look at this umbrella as consensual non-monogamy. And when I think of, we have been accused of not being real swingers because we don't have sex with everybody we meet. We, were, we used to be accused because we didn't have sex with others, only you played with women. Mm -hmm. And we laughed because what people didn't know is you and I had a lot of sex with people, yeah. but we just did it privately. Right. We were public that we were swingers, yeah. but we didn't need to publicly share who we played with, when we played with them, how often we played. And well, we will never... What, what good does that do anyone? Well, it's somebody our, might... It's our personal lives. Right. We don't ask them who they play with. No, and we might say the what, not the who. Yeah. But again, we share our private life publicly but we don't have the right to share those people's, that couple or that woman's private life mm -hmm. publicly. And that's why we don't do that. So I believe if you are sharing yourself physically and your partner physically mm -hmm. with another individual, you're a swinger. Yeah. I believe you're a swinger even if you are just around the others because, again, it's a label. It's a term. And to me, it's, it's this level playing field. Right. There's not one better than the other. Are you a threesomer? Three summer. Right? Is yeah. it a thruple? I, I, are you, there's so many what is, but when I look at that consensual non monogamy umbrella, mm -hmm. I just want us to be inclusive. I just think it's open mindedness. Sex positive, Sex open mindedness. Sex positive, open mindedness. I agree. Sabrina makes a great point, and a lot of people have said that. A lot of people have said that. Well, if you do this, then you're not really that. <laughs> well, then you know what? It, it, I don't, what, I'm not worried about how you I'm identify worried, me. I'm not worried about what other people think about me. And not because we're Playboy Radios, Holly and Michael, we have yet to not be allowed to come to a party mm -hmm. if we wanted to go, because you do put your name on a list. Mm -hmm. People aren't disqualified from it unless you've been blacklisted because you do a lot of inappropriate things. There's no one right way to swing, but there are a lot of wrong ways. Yes, there are. Consent is consent. Consent is not the absence of no, it's the presence of yes. Mm -hmm. You know, consent to... Somebody does anything. not give consent to everybody. Right, and that, that goes for anything. Kissing, touching. Right. I mean, looking is fine, but right. Right. gawking is weird. Gawking. <laughs> gawking can be weird. So again, I welcome everybody simply because the way for our community, I feel, to grow and for mainstream society to understand mm -hmm. is the more, the more we label and we try to drill down, I find people get scared off. Yeah. Whereas once they understand the bird's eye view, let them investigate a little more. Let them decide where they identify. Right. Maybe they only want to go to parties where it's full swap couples. Yeah. And you can see what couples are like on different yeah. on all the websites. We've There's ways to identify that. We've seen that where they say, I'm sorry, we only play with full swap couples. Right. Totally fine. Totally fine. Because you and I are situational full swap, which means the situation might not be right. Yeah. There might be something that we're not into, all that kind of stuff. Those are I'm a, I'm a little iffy about because if I'm yeah. not attracted to either one of them, what, I, I, I don't want to be put in that situation to where I have to play. Right. Well, that's the expectation. Thing. Yeah, that's the expectation. Agree? All right. That's, yeah. And again, we'll go back to, don't have expectations other than having fun with your partner. How many Red Bulls have you had? It's my second one today. <laughs> and, and a cup of coffee and a caffeinated tea. Yeah. You. I'm super tired. I don't know what's going on. And these things are very addictive. I, I don't know what they put them in. Pipe crack. Do you remember back <laughs> in the day, Coca-Cola used to have Coke in it? Back in the day. There's probably Coke in there. Back at it again with white bands. Yep. Uh, I'm wearing Uggs today, not white bands. So what color? Beige. Ah, we have oh some magic I know, I know. Hey, if Tom Brady can wear them, I can wear them. I don't yeah. want to hear any crap from anybody. Seriously. Uggs are no crap. Yeah, they, they're very comfortable. I want to say something about Uggs. They had this stupid thing on Facebook. Of, oh, my God. Not stupid. Some people are into that. Listen, they're afraid. Though. They're afraid. You have to shear a sheep. Yeah, Otherwise, they, they must the sheep be sheared. is growing. Yeah, they must be sheared. If they're doing it violently, that's not cool. No, that's not right. cool. But right. you have to shear a sheep. You have to shear a sheep? Yeah. Shear a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle is sharing that uh, also we should be situational. We know some in the lifestyle that Just you and I look at it... Um, their social swing, again, this is not right or wrong. No. We have experienced throughout the last five and a half years of traveling around the world that there are social swingers and there's sexual mm -hmm. swingers. And this is the couples that play. I'm not talking about the couples that don't play right now. I'm talking about soft swap couples and full swap couples. Swap soft. Swap soft. Swap soft. How did you even say that? I don't know. Swap soft. Soft. Actually, I just reversed the word. Soft swap. Swaft. Swap soft. Swap. Swap. Anyway. <laughs> That was perfect. Sexual swinging and social scene. Do, do, do you know what I mean by the two? Who's been drinking the Red 
I don't know, seriously. How do you identify between the two? Social swinging is you want to get to know the person, you talk, you, you laugh. And you're situational? Possibly, right. Yeah, you're situational and then possibly play, but social, I mean, it, sexual swinging is let's go have sex. Yeah, you're drinking tequila, I'm drinking tequila, let's go have sex. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with either. That there's sport effing. People who just want to notch. Goes. Yeah, people just want to notch another, put another notch on their bedpost or whatever. Yeah. All of it is okay, in my opinion, as long as they respect what we do and don't mm -hmm. do. Yes. And I respect what they may or may not do. Yes. Right? Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah. Uh, okay. There is a barbershop, I'm being told, that has a rule no dudes wearing Uggs are allowed in. What? Yeah. Guess whose barbershop that is? Oh, no. Ah, oh, my God. That's my personal <laughs> friend and barber, Drew. Uggs are you know. amazing. They're so comfortable. That same shop had a rule no women allowed. That shop now just had to settle a lawsuit. They lost. <laughs> oh, no. No, they didn't. They didn't. They didn't. They're, the Drew's just being funny. That's Probably funny. serious about the odds. Oh, he'll let me come funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, when you wear your bikini in there. Right. I know. No. And his wife is it amazing. It is California. It is California. His wife is amazing, too. We've had him as guests in the studio. It's really fun talking to them. That is, again, how do you find a super girlfriend? How do you find a girlfriend to begin with? It's be real, <laughs> be yourself. From there... You weren't in the lifestyle when we met. Yeah, I wasn't. I have a lifestyle. I have a swinger wife now who was not, didn't even really know. You didn't know about the lifestyle, Thank did you? you? She's you hot. know what? I don't think I did. I think I maybe heard it in passing, but I, I didn't really think about too much about it. Right. Oh, not his shop. Another shop lost a lawsuit because wow. they didn't allow women. Good for them. I'm glad they lost that lawsuit, Drew. Yeah. Yeah. Because women should go everywhere. Because um, women are hot. <laughs> they are. Just but saying. go back to what we were saying. I don't think I knew. The gentleman was saying, how do you get a swinger girlfriend? Well, again, you know, let's look over that. But you asked me about my past experiences in the lifestyle. Then you asked me if we could if try we it together. Could go, yeah. And when you're just meeting and you're just dating, it's one of the best times. Well, actually, it is the best time. Yeah. To communicate about it. Of course, because then you're not years past and you're like, by the way. By the way, I always wanted to do this. Why didn't you tell me I did too? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know you wanted to do it. Eight years later. Yeah, yeah. It's like SpongeBob SquarePants. Three yeah. hours later. Three hours later. But like I said, first you gotta get a girlfriend. And then right. from there. I'm still looking for one. <laughs> we have one? I oh, we have kidding. one coming over. We have one coming over tomorrow night. I couldn't have a girlfriend. I disagree. You I need Tiff I need Tiff hurt you a little bit, I think. She did. So I think that was tough when you had your girlfriend uh, in the first couple of years of our marriage. We had a girlfriend part of it. And I know that was hard for you. You have your wifey, but she lives in Toronto. That's hard. So that Toronto, so that's that a little difficult good. for you. I just believe London was special to you. Um, and that was, that ended on a good note. You know, she, she doesn't come into town as much anymore. Mm -hmm. And it's just, we're not going to travel to see her. You know, we can't because yeah. of work and the kids. So I believe you would if it's the right woman. Tomorrow night we have a play date coming over. So you and I still do play dates. Yeah. And you do prefer to play with different people. I do. Versus like the same people all the time. Yeah, I love that about you. <laughs> I do. All right. Speaking of playing, we tried to do this last week. It didn't work. I want to do this while we're on Facebook Live. Okay. Let's play Would You Rather. They know they're on Facebook Live. Yeah, I know. Let's play Would You Rather. I love Would You Rather. I would love everyone to play Would You Rather with us. Just shoot your answer on... Well, don't shoot it. No. <laughs> you can uh, call in or you can type it right there on Facebook Live. Would you rather... I'm going to read and you, baby girl, okay. answer. Do you want to ask me some? Want to go every other again or no? Yeah, let's go every All other. All right. You want to go first? Yeah. All right. You go first. Always have to say everything on your mind. Wait, wait. Start with would you rather. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you rather always have to say everything on your mind or never be able to speak again? Oh, God. You couldn't do this one. What are you talking about? I already get paid to say everything that's on my mind. You, uh, <laughs> can I choose that for you? So the question uh, is, would you rather always have to say everything on your mind or never be able to speak again? Yeah. What about you? Am I choosing for you? No, you're choosing for you, goofball. <laughs> I'd rather say whatever is on my mind. I don't want to not speak. I have stuff on my... I have stuff to say. You do have stuff to say. It's not important, but I have stuff to say. Uh, Michelle, always speak my mother effing mind. You, yes. you would rather be able to speak everything on your mind. Yes, okay. I do anyway, so. I like this Perfect. one. Would you rather, I want to hear from everybody, would you rather vaginas for ears or penises for fingers? I'm going to say penises for fingers because vaginas for ears, uh, vaginas are an open bacterial fest. Ah! So I don't want three, I don't want to have to take care of three of them. <laughs> I don't want like a triple. Wait, 
How did you get through? Oh, because you have one down there too. Yeah, gotcha, I don't gotcha. want triple yeast infections or my, oh my head gosh. smelling like BV. Oh I would rather gosh. have penises for fingers. Oh my gosh, that's too funny. And you can do you, can they orgasm? That'd be amazing. I, I don't know, but I got to back up. Drew said my wife would rather me never speak again. Daryl wants to speak his mind. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I, I would want I would want Penis. vaginas. I'd want what? vaginas for yours. I could just have sex you with myself. Do you want vaginas? <laughs> oh my God! You're, you're just, I could just your I could just do this one. Fit up there. I know that my fingers would. I could just have fingering all day. Oh my God! If they didn't orgasm, penis is for fingers. Yes. Because my fingers would be a lot longer. Vaginas are very hard to take care of. Daryl said neither. Lori says penis. Michelle says give me pussy ears. I, I love it. Pen. I love it. I love it. Um, I, I think it's a tough one. All right, give me the next one. All right. Well, I lost my pen. I don't know where I'm at. Skip that one. Go to the one next. Uh, have sex with your. Ah, skip that. One. Oh, the one on top of it. No, skip the have sex with. Go to the next one. Uh, give or receive a lap dance. So would I rather give? A lap dance or receive a lap dance? It's easy. I'd rather receive one. Ah, uh, I don't get turned on by lap dances. But you can't dance. You're a white boy. I'll just rub my penis up against you. <laughs> yeah, that's so I'd sexy. rather give one. I'd rather give a lap dance uh, than receive a lap dance. What would you rather? I'd from rather a man and then what from a woman? I'd rather get a lap dance from a woman. And what about from a man? Women, I mean, men's dancing is so hilarious to me. I would only go to laugh. So wait. It's. If you had a true. Okay. Would you, from a woman, yeah. would you rather give or get the lap dance? Get. From a man, would you rather give or get? Neither. Neither. <laughs> All right. I love it. I don't know. Michelle, I want a dry hump like it's 1999. Oh, Daryl will receive. Uh, yeah. Would give the man from Nantucket a whole new meaning. <laughs> love it. Richard, nice. RW Magic was saying he'd have penis fingers. Yep, yeah. Penis fingers. Yeah. Uh, vagina. Skull banging, yeah, all that kind of uh, stuff. Greg, receive, I love it. Thank you for answering. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Would you rather have un? Oh, <laughs> Would you rather have uncontrollable gas at work for the rest of your life, only at work? Drew, you better answer this one right. Would you rather have <laughs> uncontrollable gas at work for the rest of your life, or uncontrollable gas on every first date for the rest of your life? I was saying gas at work. I mean, we're in a room. No one else comes in here. Uh, I would not. We would be like Howard Stern and Robin Quivers in separate rooms <laughs> if that were the case. I, don't... I would be behind that DJ booth right now. That's hard because what if I just don't date the person? I just have <laughs> sex with them. Is that okay? I, yeah, it's not a date. Because. Not a date. You're right. If they could, that's just, oh, but then you got to, oh, I don't know. I, I don't want gas at all. I don't want gas at all, but it doesn't. Uncontrol, oh, uncontrollable. 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 Yeah. yeah, Drew's saying first date, Terry saying at work, Michelle, if they can get past me farting on the first date, we are meant to be. So first date farts for her. I, I you know. I, okay, but yes. But I, it's only I, the first I, date. I, yeah, if they can get past that, then yeah. you're done. Yeah. If you're at work and you're trying to cut hair or something, no one's going to come back to your barbershop. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you're done. You're business. Yeah, if you're already married, I guess you're good to go because you're not dating Or you get those not dating underwear anymore. that have charcoal in them and they absorb, absorb the it. smell. Matt is saying gas at work. See, I, I go back to just... Lori, just pass on the gas. <laughs> pass the gas. gas. If I was a truck driver or something like that where I'm alone, it's totally fine. You're presuming that they don't already do that. <laughs> right. Right? A lot of our friends who are cross-country uh, truck drivers yeah. will tell you, oh, no, with the crap we eat, we pass gas. I think the first date thing, like Michelle said, if they can get past it on the first date and it never happens again, we're meant to be. True, we're meant and to I blame be. it on someone else. Keith said work. Yeah. So I'm going back that first date because you're going to always have the uncontrollable gas at work. Right. What does this have to do about swinging and consensual non-monogamy? Nothing. What does this have to do, though, about life and dating? I'm telling you right now. Don't if that man or woman could get past your uncontrollable gas on a first date, they're a keeper. Oh, my God. They are a you, keeper. You used to turn on the bathroom faucet when you went to the bathroom. Yep, that's true. I didn't want you to hear me <laughs> urinating. Right? Yes. I didn't want you to hear me going to number one or number two. Yeah. I just, it was one I would, I would, I didn't go to number two in it, it, forever. You, you would stay at my condo. How did you not? I had two bathrooms. I held it. Oh my God. Heck no, I was not about to go number two oh with you in the, in the condo. All right. Would I rather? Ask me another one. Would I rather? Have your significant other look through all your text, chat, email history, or your employer. Oh. Wait. Would I rather say that again? 
Would you rather would have I rather your significant other... So have you my wife, Yeah. but anybody answering this, would you rather have your significant other... Look through all your text, chat, email history, or your employer. Oh, you. Yeah, easily. In a heartbeat, you. I'd rather you... So if I have to choose between my employer... Well, I'm employed by Playboy and Playboy Radio. They can look through it too. Right, so... But let's say you're not employed by Playboy. Yeah. Then, yeah, either way... You. Yeah, don't. I don't lie to you. Don't. I don't hide things from you. Yeah. I don't even delete my history without showing it to you first. And you trust me. Yes. Yeah. So I wonder. Easily. Yeah. Yeah. Michelle, I work with a porn company, so I could give two shits if it's my employer. Oh, God, that's perfect. Javier is saying, uh, I would rather have my girlfriend look. Daryl wants his wife to look. Terry, significant other for sure. So, yeah, I'm thinking, yeah. what, are, what are you guys doing at work that nope. you don't want your employers to see? Well, no, but you're not saying which history it is. Uh, and does your employer really need to know how sex positive you might be? Do you know what this is telling true. me, though? I'm so proud. This is telling me how many really open TTLC, trust, toughness, yeah. and communication. Yeah. Couples are really talking to each other. I'm glad. Partners trusting their partners. That's what that's telling me. David Dorothy's an employer just to see. <laughs> okay, I don't know if it's him or her. But he or she would rather their employer just to see the look on their face. Oh, my God. Since we already share stuff, that's awesome. <laughs> that's funny. I think they own the company, too, so that's funny there. All right, one more? How about I'll do one more? Yes. All right. Would you rather... Hmm. <laughs> would you rather... Where is it? Okay. Have your body found on a pile of sex toys... Or a pile of drugs. A pile of sex toys, easily. I don't want my, par my parents would laugh if they found me on a pile. Of, uh, or, or that's how I died. It's on my headstone. Or something. <laughs> I don't want them thinking I was doing drugs. No, but you're dead, so it's, there's no one saying. But it's my reputation. I don't want people. Oh my God, she died of drugs. No, True. she died of a good time. True, sex toys. Yep. But if they're not in you, aren't they gonna laugh? Like, why does she have all these sex toys? They can laugh. I just don't want them disappointed. <laughs> Terry said sex toys, Michelle okay. sex toys, Javier, hey, low battery, we'll be on tomorrow, don't worry, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern. Daryl, sex toys, um, Lori, sex toys, everyone else, love it, love it, love it, thank you. I love the would you rather, okay. especially now that we can have people uh, Facebook Live and when the phones mm -hmm. are completely working, they're working, we've had callers call in, <laughs> I don't know how to answer it, yeah. I promise as soon as I learn how to answer these phones, we'll, we'll bring you on air with us, I promise you that. I, I just, I don't know how to do it. I, I don't know how to do it. Yet, right? You don't know how to answer your cell phone. I, I, I actually, you're right. I just love playing with my cell phone. I do. Yeah, so I love Would You Rather. I love playing Uber Facts, Believer Bullshit. Thank you. But we're going to do that next week. We're not going to do that this week. Okay. Holidays are coming up. I'm excited about that. Somebody asked, uh, you are you hate excited? Christmas. I don't hate Christmas. You, I don't like gifts for myself. You don't like getting gifts. I like to give gifts, not die. Greg, by the way, love it. Greg would die, rather die on a pile of sex toys. Okay, by the way, I would too. Of course. I, I don't care what you think about me after I'm gone, as dirty as you want to think, but I don't do drugs. And if you do, I'm not judging. Well, weed. I've smoked weed before. What kind of sex toys for men? Yeah. That could be a little different. What if you only got, like, anal stimulators? Yeah, no. Right? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> if a pile of um, flashlights. Okay, that's, yeah, that's better. If there's a few, pro I do not get from you, nor do I get from anyone, because I do not enjoy prostate stimulation, mm -hmm. but if you threw a few on there as a joke, I'm okay with it. I'm so doing that. I'm, I'm okay with it. Oh. I'm just I'm just saying it's not my thing. I, I need to have some just in case when you die on I'm... Yeah. <laughs> I'll be like, take that! <laughs> Mike said, that sounds like the question I took before I went to flight school for the Army. Oh, God. That's too funny. Wow. Yeah. You know what, Michelle, you're right. Dash and Playboy should solve the phone issues by just flying guests in. You're available any weekday. I like that idea. I'm not kidding, but I keep that in mind. Yeah. Haven't seen her in about a year and a half. Such an amazing woman. Make sure you get to know her on Facebook and call her up. I don't know. Call her up. Call her up. Why not? Here's her number. Her. Here's her number. No, I've never given her number online. I've never. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> no, I love her too much. I love her too much. We'll do that. All right. I came up with some facts about penises. Oh, really? I share with my friends. How big your penis is? No. Oh. I share with my friends. As a woman, what do you think of this? Hmm. You're, you're a swinger now. Mm -hmm. Think about when you were vanilla. So whether you're vanilla or you're a swinger as a woman. Okay. Should a man under-promise and over-deliver or over-promise and hopefully deliver? Under-promise and over-deliver. Right. Oh, by far. I don't want him going, oh, do, 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 and then it shows up and throws up. That, that's it? Right. So I would never have sex with him again. Don't. 
Good point, but would you have sex with him the first time? That's all he's worried about. <laughs> I would do it if I was lonely and horny. But other than that, yeah, I don't know. You don't if know? he was such a bragger, I'd probably want to see what it was like and then be like, oh. All right, so I do believe in under-promising and over-delivering. I'm a yes. big believer in that. And if you say you have stamina, jerk off a couple times before you go over and see her. Because mm. new, hey, what's better than new vagina? In my opinion, as a man. And you as a woman. Come on, as a bisexual nothing, woman. Nothing. As a bi woman. Nothing's better than new the new vagina. vagina. Right. If you're asking me what the best is, it's your vagina, baby. Yes, it is. But if you're asking me what's better than new vagina, nothing. Nothing. The best is you, nothing better than new vagina. Thank you. So, sometimes, sometimes, you might bust the nut a little early. So, masturbate a few times. It, it does desensitize you. There's products out there you can use if, you know, that are... That are a prescription, uh -huh. or you can use other stuff that's over the counter. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. Who knows? Yeah. But that, and I also share with my friends that you talk about your penises. Yeah, no, they're hey man, this girl just said this, or or I was going to date this girl, but she heard from other people that I'm that. And I say under promise and over deliver. And also, what's the largest sexual organ? Your brain. Stimulate them mentally. Yes. And the rest will follow. The rest will come. Ah, ah. I think that's a good one. I know. Yes. <laughs> when you have consent, stimulate the I tell this to my guy buddies. Mm -hmm. Gay or straight, yeah. stimulate your partner mentally. And that's through, it can be through dirty talk, it can be through foreplay, it can be through intellectual conversation. It, there's a lot of ways to stimulate. I got the S out. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so, but here's some facts about penises. Um, really funny. And and I and I found something because I was trying to help some friends get through some, get over some habits. Oh, okay. Over drinking. You ever hear of whiskey dick? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's real. Yeah. Whiskey dick is real. Women can have whiskey whiskey clit too. We can get very dry down there. Well, this is very easily solved. Lube. Yeah, that's. that's <laughs> Daryl Watts. I love my flashlight. Hey, whose flashlight do you have, or is it just the basic flashlight? Curious. Uh, um, whiskey dick is real. It is. It's real, and guys, if you over drink. I'm telling you right now, it it's very possible you're going to get whiskey dick. We had it happen on, it was actually episode two, season two. Was it two or three? It was two, but then we... But they, it aired they, as episode one. They aired it. That was it. season two, right? Yes. Up in the house there? Yes. Yeah. Uh, he drank two and a half bottles of Hennessy. Jeez. Poor John. Good guy. Couldn't get it up. Yeah. So I, I share that with my buddies. Hey, don't over drink. Mm -hmm. The other thing I share with my buddies is over drinking may cause you to not get an erection. Uh, smoking can actually shrink the size of a man's penis. Because the capsulary contraction. Contraction and all that, and, ah, and the way smoke is, and nicotine. Interesting. So I'm not telling you not to smoke Is there something weed. that can grow your penis? Yes. Yeah, called, called Viagra. Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> you know what can grow your penis? What? A woman. Oh, for me. I like for that. me, you know, I'm just saying, a woman. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm not telling you you can't smoke. Just be careful. Please be careful. I think smoking is. Smoking is dangerous. Yeah. I, and again, I'm not pro weed per se but weed has not been shown to shrink the size of your penis so if you really have the need to smoke mm -hmm. it's legal yeah, that, federally it's going to be legal soon in a couple weeks Parents were going to be legal recreational too yeah, baby. but again I'm not advocating weed I'm just saying okay the average penis size do you know the average penis size is oh, we, we said this actually two years ago I looked it up we said this the average penis size has decreased in the last two years. What? Yep, by a tenth of an inch. Oh my the god! The average penis size is now. Take a guess. Five inches. Five point four inches. Hard. Erect. Oh yeah, my not. God. That seems kind of tiny. Flaccid. <laughs> if I'm two inches, sometimes shrinkage is real. That seems. I. I'm not. I'm not. I Wait, know. how how big is that? I don't know. Five so, inches is probably. I guess it's about that big. Your vaginal canal is only four inches to five inches deep. Yeah. So you're getting the whole penis in there. Yeah. Yeah, four to six inches is average. The average penis is 5.4 inches. Okay. Yeah. Why is it decreasing? It's got to be said, evolution or something. Hi, Lori. Daryl said uh, basic fleshlight. Actually, here's a funny story. I have actually a number of fleshlights from our friends that are in the adult industry that give them to me. I've never used them. You don't like them. I, not that you don't, I don't like them. No, it's not that I don't like them. I, I, I really like enjoy Pockets' as vagina. And again, this is not a knock on anybody because the flashlights are wonderful and they're easy. You don't have to worry. But I enjoy eating vagina. I enjoy eating a lot of vaginas. So when we have women over, <laughs> and if I was ever going to use a flashlight, I kind of think if I told you, you'd be like, hold on, hold on, let me call. Da, da, da. Yeah, you're right. 
You know where I would use one though? Where? I never really was into masturbation. Okay. Until you and you told me it turned you on. Yeah, it does. So if you wanted to see me use one, then I would do it. Okay. That that I would do for you. So Daryl, I'll give you. A, I'll let you know which one. There's a number right. of them. Which There's one I use? Plenty of them. But yeah, the the, the problem is I don't want to uh, uh, over drink do and kill them too. Do they feel like like vaginas? From what I understand, they feel as close to the real thing really? as possible. That's from what I understand. They feel as close to the real thing as possible. Huh. Where they're made and you use the lube. Yeah. We have that sucky dryer. I've given a lot to friends too. I've given a lot to friends, but yeah. I don't want to take money out of the uh, the actress's pocket because they do get um, points on that royalty. Oh, they get a ton. All right, sores and growers. Some penises increase greatly in length from flaccid to erect, grower, <laughs> while others stay relatively constant in their length. Remember that that young man in Jamaica? Yes. Young man, he's in his, his mid to late twenties. The young man. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was a good eight. Eight and a half inches flaccid. Yeah. But he laughed. He said, everyone's looking. They're all impressed. I remember being at the bar ordering a drink. He said, dude, it doesn't get any bigger than this, though. I'm like, dude, that's fine. That's but big enough as it is. It's not big enough. Yeah, that's, that's big enough as it is. A- bigger than average, which is awesome. Yep. But, yeah, I've seen teeny tiny people that that are huge. Okay, not huge, but, you know, oh, I'm definitely, I, let's be honest. I'm a grower. I am not a shower. Yes. I am a grower. I don't think that's the way you spell showers. That's spell showers. Showers, you're right. <laughs> Though I have this one issue that we run into sometimes. Um, shower? No, whether it's you or other women, if if I put you on top of me to ride me, mm-hmm. do, you know, uh, facing me, yeah. never when you're reverse cowgirl or another woman's reverse cowgirl, right. but for some reason, my luck nut it does. It's so weird. Goes from my ball sack into my like abdomen area. It only does. my left nut. Oh, and so... only in the... not reverse cowgirl. I've seen it happen. I know you have not reverse cowgirl. No. Only when you're on top or another woman is on top. And it's at that point I'm trying. When we're with another woman, I'll stop quicker than I would stop with you. With you, I'm thinking, I've got to do this for podcast. i got to do this for podcast. She, <laughs> she's got to get off in a minute. Wait, I think I. Oh, Oh, okay, what now does it get off. feel like? It hurts. Really? Sure, it's all nerves. It's sensitive. It hurts. Oh, it really, really hurts. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Pockets, you know what? Maybe I should have a flashlight. Uh, Doc Johnson did offer to make a flashlight mold out of yours. That's totally fine. I know you don't I want... I have a very pretty vagina. Yeah, I know you don't want... You do a very, very pretty vagina. Thank you. I know you don't want uh, the word mold and vagina used at the same time, but they're making a mold of your vagina. <laughs> Daryl, TMI, I know. It hurts, though, man. If your nut has ever creeped up like that, uh, yeah. and my sack doesn't sag low, no. it doesn't wobble to and fro, no. so I don't know. All right, the average male will experience, guess how many erections per day? Per day? I had to write these down, guys, because I didn't want to forget. One. Per day, the average male will experience 11 erections what per day. What the hell are they thinking about? Or is it just like, oh, wind's blowing? Uh, it could be a little bit of both. That's a, that's a lot of erections. Where do you hide it? Average. No, I, right now I could be erect, you wouldn't know. That proves to me that men are only thinking about sex all day long. How many hours are today? Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> and they take the hours and how many minutes are in those hours. So how many minutes are today? No, we're not thinking only about sex. Whoops, whoops. No. Exactly. No. Uh-huh. Things can be, and sometimes the erection. Hey, they say a guy on average thinks about sex every 30 seconds. I don't know about it. I don't know about no. You're proving me right. Morning wood is not because I'm aroused. It's because I have to go number one. So that would count as an erection. You have to go pee pee. While there are no bones, here's another fact about penises, guys. What does this have to do with consensual non-monogamy and swinging? Everything, because we should know things. Well, I'm straight. But if you're a straight dude or a bi dude or a woman, bi or straight, doesn't matter. You should know about penises. Yes, you should. We want to know about vaginas. Don't use the word mold down there. Use latex-free condoms. Make sure it's well lubricated. You know, blah, blah, blah. But for men, some fun facts about penises. All right. While there are no bones in the penis, you can actually rupture the lining of it. This can cause irreparable damage and, in most cases, require surgery. Oh, my God. I've heard of it breaking. And it it breaks the blood vessels. Can it never get hard again? Yeah. Oh, God. Because they they fix Bobbitt's penis. So I'm assuming that they can fix it to where it works again. Yeah, they reattach. Uh, All the nerves in there. They reattach the nerves and everything, yeah. Oh, my God. That yeah. would hurt so bad. <laughs> uh, who is it that said that? Uh, Greg is saying, call the hidden nut. It's his right one that hides once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> Men, penis fact. You ready? Mm-hmm. Guys that wear big shoes, you know what it means? They wear big socks. They wear bigger shoes than the guy that has small shoes, and they wear big socks, yeah. Same with hands and gloves. There's no known 
correlation right. between the size of a hand or feet and penis. Did you know though that your foot is from here to to your elbow? From That's my, how long it are is. Yours or my arm? All people's. No. Let's measure all tonight. People's. Tonight we'll measure. You put your foot up to your arm and it's from there to there. Somebody once said if you look at the first crease in your wrist and you go to the top of your oh I'm sorry no I measure it that's where it is my penis goes from I right have, to here to right here. I'd have a huge penis if I had one. And guys if you're gonna measure your penis measure from the outside don't add the two inches that might be on the yeah. inside too no don't add yeah. that that's not. Fair. And I have a crooked that's an under promise over the I have a crooked middle finger does that mean my penis would have been? <laughs> God forbid you had a penis. <laughs> um, okay. The world's smallest penis, guess how big it is? Oh God, I don't, I, or, should I say how small it is? An inch. Five eighths of an Ooh. inch. Five freaking eighths of an inch. Poor, that poor, poor soul. I know. How did they have sex? Yep. Oh my God, I feel so bad. Yep. He Mike is saying been, he's thought about he sex three times. Very, he must have been a very small man, like the world's smallest no, man. No, they don't list that anywhere. They just said it was the smallest no. penis. And I do believe somebody had a contest so that he could have sex with a woman. We have an old yeah. producer, Maria, our old producer, remember? Yeah. She met a guy online, they Skyped, they kind of had Skype sex stuff, and they sexted. She drove five, six hours up north in, to Northern California to see him. They went out to dinner, and they started at sex. His penis was really small. I guess the camera might add a few inches, I don't know. Yeah, probably. It was so small, do you remember what happened? She left, she got up and left. She was riding him, couldn't feel it, got off him and left. Said, hey, listen, I, you're nice. I can't do this stuff. I don't want to lead you on. Good for her, yeah. though. Well, I feel bad for the guy, but at least she was honest. Well, pff, whatever. <laughs> Scientists suggest, I've said this before, scientists suggest anthropologically that the penis developed its mushroom like shape, the head of it, yeah. in order to scoop out competing sperm during intercourse. Oh. So, do you think over time evolution will change it to just like a Big rod? No, because we still, no, we still. You're not competing against. Ah, when you're single, you might be. But that, that's, most search, that's, that's for having babies. Most search porn by men yeah. is multiple men with one woman. One woman. And that, that's sperm competition. And I heard that it actually produces more sperm or makes them mm -hmm. all hyper or something down there. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. All right. In a. I like the term consensually non-monogamous, right? Yeah. Playboy Radio's Holly and Michael, Modern Love, powered by Dash Radio, Monday through Friday, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern, and always on Facebook Live, Mondays and Tuesdays. Trying to add a few more days, we'll let you know. Mm -hmm. So in a consensually non-monogamous relationship, swinger or whatever, mm -hmm. or a vanilla relationship, right? Just, right. just monogamous. Okay. How often do you think you would need sex to be happy? A week? Well, sure, how often a week? Not think about sex, as Mike said he's done three uh, times since we started the show today. I'm going to say three to four times a week. Three to four times a yeah. week? Yeah. Okay. To be happy. To be happy. I, I can see that with I you. I can do more, but I couldn't do less. Ooh. Oh. I, <laughs> I agree with you. For me, three to five times a week. I wonder what the average... I don't want three. I would rather the five. Right, I know that. I can do more, but I would be happy with three... Uh, what were you going to ask the average married couple? Yeah. The average married couple has sex, if I remember, and the last I looked was in 20, it was either the end of 2014 or the beginning of 2015. Mm -hmm. It was, I think, 17 or 18 times a year. Oh my God. Wait, no. That's a little over one in That's month. Yeah. I believe it averaged out to less than two a month, so it's under 23. Because 24 would be two a month, so it's under 23, but it was above 15. Wow. So, that's yeah. sad. It's very sad. It's very sad. That's, and that's why, why there's more divorce than anything. So then, well, the, if you communicate with your partner and your partner says no, then that's where you talk about a lot of shins, right? Yeah. Flashlights. Yeah. <laughs> Our good friends have a lot of flashlights out there. Apparently. Nikki and, and uh, Jessica they and so many friends. <laughs> Tori, they all. Okay, take sex out of it. So okay. you said how often you would need sex. Mm -hmm. To be happy in, in our relationship or in any relationship, vanilla or swinger, how often would you need intimacy? All the time. Really? Because when we're what's together, intimacy? what's intimacy? Touching, kissing, right. flirting, talking. Right. Uh, I think it's all intimacy. So I not all the time to where I'm like texting you, blah blah blah. blah. But when we're together, I want to be touched and I want to be right. not known, just feel your presence or things right. like that. Right. And again, I've got to quote Michelle: "Sex is not the only reason to stay in a relationship. So if you're not having it enough or you're not getting it the way you feel you should, mm -hmm. you need to talk about that with your partner." That goes back to the communication aspect of it. 
Um, and realistically, sometimes, as much as you and I both agree, uh, three to four, three to five is what we would want or need. Yeah. If it's less one week, it's okay because maybe you're not feeling well, I'm not feeling well, uh, the kids aren't feeling well, so one of them's in bed with us, yeah. that kind of stuff. So it's not happening then. And then some weeks, it's every day. And some weeks, it's every day, and we include other people. Right. So it's just on average. And go back to the intimacy thing. I completely agree with you. That for me, I want intimacy all the time. And I'm not saying sex. Mm -hmm. It's what you said. It's the holding the hands, the touching, it's the looking. It's the kissing each other with tongue, without tongue. Yeah. You know, there's sometimes that we make out and I think, God, we haven't made out in a while. And maybe it was three hours ago, but to me, it feels so long ago because I love making out with you. Plus, I'm a good kisser. You are a good kisser. I, I just, I just, I enjoy being with you. Yes. And to me, that is intimacy. I enjoy being with me, too. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why you watch pornography and masturbate a lot, right? No. What would you do with a fleshlight? I mean, I you... couldn't do anything with it. I don't have a penis. What I'm saying, though, you enjoy fingering women. You can finger the fleshlight. You enjoy the vagina. Admit... You could li... Yeah, no, it's no, not the same thing. not the same thing. Because you want that vibration of their thighs. Yeah. You want the taste from their, I want their juices. The boobies and the Yeah. <laughs> you said boobies. I said boobies. You said boobies. I like that. <laughs> oh, I like what Terry just wrote. Into you I see equals intimacy. Into you I see. Oh, in I N T two. Yeah, I'm done there. <laughs> I thought it had something to do with the letters, but I like the way it because oh, it sounds God. like it. Into you I see intimacy. That's exactly it. I like that. That's what I think of you. Into you I see. I also like to be inside you. Yes, you do. Playboy Radio's Holly and Michael. Please stay in touch with us off air at Swing Time 69 or uh, that's, what's that called? Twitter, Twitter. Uh, Facebook is Michael Pockets. Monday through Friday, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern. We are live on Playboy Radio, powered by Dash Radio. This is us. What's your Instagram, baby? Real Holly Pockets. Real Holly Pockets. Stay tuned. A lot of great things coming up on Playboy Radio. New shows starting. Uh, if you're asking, hey, I tuned in, and, well, you're the only new show on. You know, every other show is a repeat from a year ago. You're right. You're right. But stay tuned. They're working on that. We're very proud yes. that for five and a half years, we have stayed through a lot of changes with Playboy Radio because, well, Playboy is an incredible company to work for. Uh, I believe Mr. Hefner is an icon, and he's done a lot of revolutionary things. Uh, we started with Playboy on TV and then on radio. Mm -hmm. So very proud. And very, very proud to be powered by Dash Radio now. An incredible. It's for it's free to listen. Mm -hmm. It's commercial free. You can download it for free. You can go to dashradio.com backslash Playboy Radio. I don't know what else. That's it. LLBclub.com will have information about the contest. We're giving away um, a hotel package and party, and then a party package for New Year's Eve 2017. Party yeah, it's in like three weeks. Yes, three weeks. In Miami Beach, yeah, baby. Three weeks. Three weeks. Yeah. Miami Beach, baby. The contest rules will be up. Uh... If you live in the U.S., sorry to tell you this, you're going to have to pay taxes on the prize. <laughs> Just want to make sure you know. No purchase will be necessary at all. Time is money. There will be a little bit of maybe three minutes involved to do, do hey, like this, like that, because sponsors want, you know, yes, want presents. Yes, definitely. That's all I know. You ready, baby? Yes. Swing, swing. We love you, family. I have an immediate suit. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us and for interacting as much as you did. I love you. Seriously. Want to say peace out? Peace out. Peace out.